Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Here's my argument on Ashley Cole. I think Ashley Cole should be number one. And I think he should be number one because who in the world ever is better in their position than Ashley Cole? I would argue nobody ever. That's a, so that's in terms fair. of, but then we, we're penalising them for him being left back and then being centre back. It's a fair yeah, point. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I would penalise them for because I want, if I'm talking defenders, I'm talking the, the name in itself says it, defenders. Yeah, okay. Somebody who can defend. And Ashley Cole can defend, don't get me wrong. But there are better defenders than Ashley Cole. And Rio Ferdinand and John Terry are better defenders than... I've got my top three already sorted in my head. So what are you to, what are you saying, Ashley Cole at three? Do you want me to give you my top three? Yeah. yeah look three, two, one, all right? Yeah. Three, Ashley Cole. Two, Rio Ferdinand. <sighs> one, John Terry. Tubes, what are you saying? Say some in, it's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he froze. He froze. Literally froze. He froze. John Terry, number one. Yeah, we agreed? Yep. I'd have, uh, I'd have Rio, but I, it's much splitting much hairs, isn't it? Do you know what? Why don't we get Rio <laughs> and uh, John Terry on to discuss it? Call that He's best. Do you remember that? Um, I'm twi- better than you, not. Do you remember the you. Twitter beef? I'm better than you, no, I'm better than you. And the, and the accolades came out. And... Oh, it's horrible, wasn't it? An absolute trumpet blowing exercise. So, are we putting Ashley Cole in three? I'm not going to argue with Cole in at three. But I, 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 do you know what? I agree with you. He is getting penalised for being a left back. Yeah, I know. I know. Is he the best left back of all time? Probably. Him and Roberto Carlos. Yeah, Robbie, yeah. Robbie C. Because people say Maldini, but I. Oh, was he not more yeah. of a centre? Like, in his early years, he was left back, wasn't he? Yeah, come on. But, Maldini's a centre back, wasn't he, really? Roberto Carlos and Ashley Cole are the best left yeah. backs ever to play. Yeah, the game. So if you're in a World Cup final tomorrow, I'd take Ashley Cole. Who would you have Ashley Cole? Ashley or Cole, because you're just. I just think Roberto Carlos was open to more mistakes because he was more about getting yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley Cole, Ashley Cole just... positionally, positionally. Right, locked in. You ain't better. got to worry. Yeah, you started an England game with Ashley Cole at left back, so and you ain't worrying. I'm about so it. are we I'm saying I'm that Ashley Cole? I'm starting a World Eleven with Ashley Cole. Yeah, so are we saying that Ashley Cole's the best left back ever? Probably. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably. I mean, there'd be hundreds of people absolutely. Oh, without doubt. And it was last no, no, time no. it was Maldini. When we spoke about it, I can't remember on a podcast. I think it was Hall of I've Fame. I've never seen Ashley about. Cole play a bad game of football ever. Same. Right. Ever, the the ever, podcast ever. is called Top 10 Defenders of Premier League History, right? And Pr- Ashley Cole is not the best defender. Okay. He's not. He's not a better defender than JT and he's not a better defender than Rio Ferdinand. So we're so putting him in at three. We'll okay. Put him in John at Terry, three. Rio Ferdinand, Ashley Cole. I love this. That is locked in straight away. So, Ashley Cole, congratulations. You are the Foscast's third best defender of all time Damn. Premier League history. I okay. we should try and get a bit of Ben. Do you want to fire a little something into Ashley Cole, see if he'll come on? That'd yes, be good. Without doubt, us. And Rio Ferdinand is at number two, and at number one is John Terry. Um, why is John Terry number one, Tubes? Well, it's. I think you should. I think it's better to go to you two on that because you've got to understand. I'm a massive, massive Chelsea fan. Yeah. So I'm quite biased by it. Uh-huh. But I, uh, if if I'm not doing it with my, without my Chelsea hat on, one club man. Yeah. Okay, Villa towards the end. So, but he was, he was a leader. So I've watched him, week in week out, organising everything. Yeah. I think he made the people next to him better players, much better players. Yeah. He scored goals. He could play football. He's both footed. Did score goals. Yeah. And I don't think there's a more complete centre back than John Terry. Ben, let's ask about you then. So but you yeah, played you've at played England. With both, yeah. you? You've played and trained with them yeah. regularly yeah. for England. What's the differences with them as players then? But they are. They are they are very different players. Um I think I think the reason why I've put John Terry ahead of Rio Ferdinand is because I I've never made this um a secret is I love a traditional defender I love a traditional defender who I know that when the that when you're in the heat of the battle the heat of the moment I know that John Terry will quite happily take getting kicked in the face yeah quite happily he will he will die for everything he would he would just do that and 
agree with what Tube said again. He's the full package for me, the absolute full package. He will kick it, head it. He can play for lovely football, um, but he's a leader as well on the pitch, off the pitch. He was he was Mister Chelsea basically. He was Mister Chelsea, wasn't he? Yeah. He was Mourinho's like leader, absolutely everywhere on the pitch, off the pitch. He cared about the club. Um, same as when we ran away with England. I just saw him just leading everything. He would just lead it. It's as simple as that. Would Massive have, character. Would you ever sit with England? Would there ever be any kind of butting of heads? Because at that point you had leader at Chelsea. Yeah. Then you've got Stevie G, leader. Was there any kind of cockfighting around that? No, there wasn't. And But I think you could sense it. Yeah, You but could smell it. Who, but Cap Bex was... Be- oh, Bex was quiet. But as Bex was the captain, word. wasn't he? Yeah, but, he, say, yeah, but he, he wasn't that kind of leader. There's loads of different leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like Reese James being made the captain of Chelsea sure. now. Yeah. He's not. He doesn't scream and shout. Yeah, you don't need. You don't need to be a screamer yeah. or shouter to be a captain. It's what you like as a leader. I like a leader that is a screamer and shouter. I really do. Do you? Yeah, I like a leader who leads by example, and his performances on the pitch and the way that he plays the game mirrors the way that he would be a captain and a leader. And I used to just love that more than anything. I like the way that I knew he was. Yeah, he would. If somebody pushed me in a game, he would be steaming over there to elbow him out of the way or barge him out of the way. It's like, do not touch my teammate. It's as simple as that. That's what it is. Yeah. I like it. That's what it is. And I think the reason why Chelsea had so much success for so many years, it, it, a massive part of it is down to John Terry. I agree. Down to John Terry I and Didier Drogba because he's an absolute beast. And Lamps. And Lamps. And, yeah, and actually well, Cole. Yeah. <laughs> and Gianfranco <laughs> Zola. Spines. And Mourinho. Yeah. Spines of teams, isn't it? <laughs> Um, so, that, that's... so there we go there we go let me um, let me do it for you guys at home we have finally finished our the Fozcast's rating Happy ranking with that list of the top 10 Premier League defenders that's of all time podcast, huh? and in uh, descending order from 10 down to 1 feel free to object feel free to have your opinion get in the comments down below this is what we love um, but the Fozcast have decided that in 10th position is Ledley King Ninth, Tony Adams. Eighth, Yap Stam. Seventh, Carl Walker. Sixth, Virgil van Dijk. Wow. Virgil van Dijk in sixth. I'm still, I'm still not sure. Um, oh, I fifth, agree. fifth, Nemanja Vidic. Fourth, Vinny Company. Third, Ashley Cole. Second, Rio Ferdinand. The Man United fans are going to be hating this. But in the first place, Chelsea fans will love it. I'm sure John Terry. That's what we have decided, lads. And are we happy? Are we Are we at least 80% sure we're right I'm with this? I'm looking at that list and thinking, do we slip VVD from sixth? And do we just slip him up ahead of Finney Company? No. It feel, now that you made that argument about those two years and stuff, it does feel sixth is low. Penalising him a little bit. I get your point. I get your point. I, you we, did say the guidelines. We, we, we have to, you said the longevity. Yeah, the rounded view. We have to take a rounded view of everything. Yeah? And Vinny Company did it for, what, 12, 13 years in the Premier League? Van Dijk oh, has yeah. had three outrageous years. Don't get me wrong. He's still, he's still an outrageous defender. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.